Yo, what the hell's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 2. What is jQuery? Wow. Okay then, so jQuery is a massive, free, open source JavaScript library. It is not a programming language in its own right. Now if you look carefully guys, you'll see this is all in capital letters and that's because a lot of people get confused here. When they first start using jQuery, they think it's a separate programming language and they don't bother learning JavaScript. They think, oh, jQuery is easier, I'll use that instead. <clears throat> jQuery is not a programming language, it's a JavaScript library. Its main aim is to make working with JavaScript much easier and you're gonna benefit hugely from knowing the core essentials of JavaScript first, okay? So it is not a programming language, it's a library. So what can jQuery do for us? Well, it makes working with the DOM, that's the document object model, much, much easier. Whereas before we'd have to jump through hoops in vanilla JavaScript to try and grab a particular element deep in your document. Now with jQuery, we can just use a CSS selector to grab that element and do what we want with it in JavaScript. So much easier when it comes to working with the DOM. It also makes working with animations much easier, as it does with event handling, and also Ajax, which we've not really discussed in any of my playlists yet. It makes that really simple too. Now, don't worry about Ajax so much yet. I'm gonna do a whole playlist on that in the future. Plus, it does loads more stuff, such as make things cross-browser compliant, which is a cool, cool feature. Uh, basically, that means less time debugging your dev issues in vanilla JavaScript. For example, uh, when we use events in JavaScript, in normal JavaScript, sometimes there's some differences between browsers in how they kind of process that code or interpret that code. Now, jQuery takes those differences away, so there's a one solution fits all approach, which means, guys, more time working on your website than fixing bugs, so you're gonna have a much better website at the end of it, all right? It also has a cool feature, jQuery this is, called chaining. And chaining is essentially applying different methods or effects or whatever you want to call them to an element in one line, much like this here. Now, we're going to get into chaining later on, so you might not know what this is at the minute, so don't worry about that. Essentially, uh, what it means at the core is that the code is less verbose. It's much easier to read and things get uh, written much, much quicker. All right, so really cool. Finally, there are plugins galore for jQuery, right? If jQuery isn't on, enough on its own for you, then you can go out there and you can get an image slider plugin to make an image slider, or you can go out and get a form enhancement plugin to make your forms work differently. Pretty much whatever you wanna get a plugin for, you can go out there and get it. Now, I'm not saying that's always the best way to do things. Uh, it's sometimes quite lazy, and you might need some specific functionality, in which case you wanna make your own code, but for quick solutions, plugins are great. And there's tons of them out there. So in short, just to summarize, I will say this much, jQuery to JavaScript is like a sat nav to a car. It's not gonna make you a great driver, but it will make getting from point A to B much easier and quicker. So um, I hope you're looking forward to learning all about jQuery. Don't forget to subscribe to make sure you catch all the updates and I'll see you in the next tutorial.